Daytona, the only way he's going to get up here is if you scream a little bit louder than that. Chase Elliott! I think he hears us. Chase, I just want you to realize how tough this is on my... What I gotta do. Before the race even starts, like, yeah. are you a napper? Like, will you take a little bit of time to like take a nap before the race? It's or funny, I actually just woke up from that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I did. I, I'm a napper sometimes, uh, but I, you know, the night racing thing's great. You know, you kind of have all morning to uh, get, you know, get situated, grab some lunch, and and get the day going. So yeah, I love Saturday night races. I wish we had some more of them. Uh, I might, I might take them. Chase, I got a couple fan questions, and then I have some fan questions down here. But one, this person wrote in three days ago, if you could switch lives with any other professional athlete for one day, who would it be? And that is a question, I don't know if you've ever gotten it, but I never asked you that question. And when it came in, I was like, they really actually thought about this. Uh, that is a good one. Um, yeah, Braves would be, would be fun. I mean, I would say somewhere, you know, either a, a baseball player or a golfer, I think that would be really, really fun. Uh, I don't know who, you know, on either side. I mean, certainly if it was going to be the baseball side, I guess someone on the Braves. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just curious, if it was the Braves, yeah. who would you play that night so you could play against uh, them? Who would we play? Uh, I'd like to, I mean, the Dodgers. Why not the, the Dodgers have been their uh, their nemesis here here lately. So I would say the Dodgers. That'd be, be fun. Um, and they got to get through the Dodgers through the playoffs, so uh, I I feel like that would be a good one. And on the golfing side, I don't know. There's a lot of guys I like. Um, you know, I I don't know. That's, that's tough, but but I do think golf would be a lot of fun too. Those guys get to go to some awesome places and play golf, so I, that wouldn't be bad either. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received from another NASCAR driver or a racing legend? These are good ones, huh? <laughs> I know a couple weeks ago you said the same thing, so I, 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 put, I put it out on my social. Yeah. He loved your questions. Think about them. Man, so I'm I making you to, think now. I need to study uh, before, <laughs> before I came today. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, for me, it, it's always been, uh, and, and I've, you know, I've heard this from multiple drivers, but really just trying to enjoy the moments uh, that you have. And, and that's so hard to do. Um, you know, I've heard that from Dad. I've, I've heard that from other, you know, other drivers around the garage. Um, you know, it, but that's such a hard thing to do. And I, I've tried really hard throughout the course of my career to make sure you're enjoying these moments and and different things because they're not going to always be there. And uh, you know, you're going to look back and 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 wish you you had enjoyed them more. But man, I've tried so hard to enjoy them. I've tried hard to just not rush through those really good days and, and really exciting times. Uh, but it seems like when things are exciting and things are good, it goes by quicker. So it's like, man, I don't know how I can slow this down, but it uh, you know, definitely mean, means a lot to, to do that. And I, I agree with them. And this is a super easy one. What is your favorite vintage Chevrolet? If I said, Chase, I'm going to open up my pocketbook yeah. and you go buy whatever you want. I mean, I, you know, I would 
really put the Camaro in front of in front of the Corvette. I mean, I would say any anything in that in that realm. I you know I don't know. Like I think the boss would be mad at me because I know he's a big Corvette guy, but I I definitely would go the classic Camaro route. Right down here in front, and I don't think this is so much a question, more of a comment. What's your name? Sean. Sean, and what what do you want to tell them? Um, I teach sixth grade math in Florida, and um, we try to get the kids involved in anything positive. And since I'm a NASCAR fan, I, I hang flags all over my room. Um, they're, most of them, because I teach in a migrant area, they don't even know what NASCAR is. So I get to brainwash them. <laughs> they think you're the only driver for the most part. <laughs> they are chase fans. I'm making my own chase calls. Sounds like you're doing a good job. <laughs> and um, they support you every week. And um, when you win, I get to show them the burnout. What about when we don't win? <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning you. lesson. Still supporting you. Are we, know, because are we they're training like, Mrs. Murder, fans? Mrs. Murder. <laughs> You know, so when you don't look happy, I'm like, well, <laughs> no. But we have, I, so I have flags and they want to touch it. I'm like, no, 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 we're not touching it until Friday. But they have to do the chant. What's the chant? Engine, engine, number nine, let's go chase. And they can touch it. <laughs> chase, how does it make you feel knowing uh, that, no, that, I, that you're a positive role model to so many people around the world? I appreciate it. I think that's super cool. And, and uh, thank you for what you do, teaching. That's a tough uh you know, tough environment, sixth grade. I, you know, props to you for for, uh, for for making it work. Round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. So Chase, I don't want to put you, you. I don't want to put you on the spot or anything. But what were you like in, in sixth, sixth grade? grade? Uh, <laughs> um, sixth grade math. I don't know that I was twelve. I don't remember twelve. Uh, <laughs> You know, I don't know. I would like to think I wasn't a, lot, a terrible kid, um, but you know, I'm sure there was room for improvement for sure. I don't know that math is my best subject. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, now that is true. We're your entire, if you're at a 1.2, you know, five uh, mile track and it's 500 miles. What do we do to figure out how many laps he's got to run? Exactly. See, now things like that, I I could wrap my head around, but like when you got into algebra and. Which, that wasn't far, algebra isn't far after sixth grade, right? Oh, it's sixth grade now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this yeah. man right here, Chase was like, oh no, we're doing it now. That tells you how much I know. So, well, next subject. Thank you. <laughs> Chase, right down here to your right, one of your biggest fans, or might be the biggest fan, what's your name? Carly, and she has been here since like 10 o'clock this morning. Mom, Mom's been drinking all day and you know having a good time. She I'm just joking. Hers. What is your question for Chase? Do you think the dogs are gonna win? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the so she asked if I thought the dogs were gonna win a, a third natty in a row, and I think I think the answer is yes. 100%. Great question. And thank you for being here. I love your hair. So so I asked her a question that a lot of people ask her, and I said, who's your boyfriend? And what did you say? Chase Elliott forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're you're on it. You are on it. Thank, thank you for coming. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Right down here in front. What's your name? Hey, Chase. My name is Zach. Uh, I was just curious, you know, with this new, with, with it being a second year of the new car, with y'all kind of having, you know, at least you know, a full year or so of experience under it, how much time do you still feel like on a weekly basis you want to put in at the simulator for tracks you already know, just to try to continue learning about this new car, how to make good adjustments, things like that? Um, I mean, that's a, that's a good question. I mean, uh, the, the simulator, I, I think, is really more for the sim tools and for the crew chief and the engineers to be able to dial in the right so that when they put in a certain number for a certain property it gives them a accurate representation of whatever that property might be that is really what the sim is for um, so you know I think from a driver's standpoint it's uh, it, it's hit or miss you know some weeks I feel like it can be helpful other weeks I'm like you know I, I to be honest I don't know this is doing anything um, for, for you so I, I'm hit or miss, but I think if it's making us better as a as a group um, and making you know your uh, your program improve, then it's, then it's worth doing. Yeah. Right down here, what's your name, buddy? My name is Hayden uh, Chase. 
Uh, what's your mindset going to be going into this race today? Are you going to be aggressive from the green flag today? Or are you going to be lenient in stage one and two and then go hard in stage three? Yeah, that's a good question. I, it, you know, the way, this, the way the racing is here now, um, there really is no, there is no laying back and just, you know, being good at the last stage because it's so hard to get the track position back and it just takes it takes a long time to get it and it seems like that process has just been creeping further and further back in the race over the you know as the years progress to the point where right when the race starts everybody's already kind of thinking about that last stage so uh, i think you have to be more on the aggressive side and, and really just trying to make sure you're diligent in, in your strategy calls and and uh, hitting those pit cycles like all the little things have become so important in this racing and uh, I, You know, I think today will be very much the same. So for me uh, Obviously, we you know, we don't typically qualify well at speedways, you know, which is totally fine with me I don't I don't care about that. So at the end of the day uh, We want to have our car driving well and, and we hope that gives us some ability to be on offense throughout the event tonight and I think if you can be on offense then you're going to give yourself opportunities and and that's where our heads at so um, Hopefully, you know, hopefully it works out. I can only do so much um, at these places, but we're uh, certainly looking forward to the challenge and, and excited to get going. Chase, it's never enough time. We appreciate when you make time to come out here at Team Chevy. Hello with the fans. Race fans, Daytona, please put your hands together right now for Chase Elliott. Thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, enjoy, the, uh, enjoy the night. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite races as a kid. and. Uh, just such a cool environment. So y'all enjoy it. Thanks for coming and we appreciate it.